Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Shadow Ghost. We're continuing our journey in the Battletech universe. Alright, we have done a bunch of missions. I think it's time to work on Liberation Panzer. My Warning, God. this contains spoilers. We're actually doing Liberation Panzer now. No more of these procedural side missions. So we are on our way to Kimi. Or, I think, no... Well, let's see. I didn't see where it was. Again, this contains main primary campaign spoilers, so if you don't want to ruin anything, because you plan on playing through and you want this to be new to you, stop watching. Go to another episode. Skip over. My favorite episode I've recorded is when Decker one-shot, headshot, shotted the grasshopper that we have. Um, it was pretty epic, and I'm glad he did because using the Grasshopper, it's very powerful, very mobile, very good at getting around behind you, has multiple medium lasers and a large laser with some LRM ammo, so it's, uh, or LRM, so it's a pretty good heavy mech. I, quite frankly, would totally, uh-oh, um, go for four of them if I had four of them. Thrago's command deck begins shaking again. I can't stand this anymore, Sumeru says. This has been happening every two and a half hours like clockwork. It makes me want to break something. Every 2.4 hours to be precise, Dr. tone is infuriatingly reasonable. And only while the Argo is under thrust. Sumeru flashes you with an exasperated look. We can't. Why can't we get this fixed? After 17 seconds, the shaking stops right on schedule. Tell everyone to live with it. Ask Dr. Miranda to try to fix it again. He said, will you continue to investigate the problem, Dr. Murad? Dr. Murad nods. Of course. Let me set your expectations, however. The Star League abandoned the Argo design after making only two ships of its class. This may be a defect their engineers didn't manage to solve before the project ended. She returned seven hours and three shakier than usual episodes later. I'm no closer to a fix, but I know why this is happening. The Argo's rotation controller is... Oh, jeez. Controller is disabled while the pods are folded. There are, e there are even mechanical safeties to ensure the ship doesn't tear itself apart by trying to rotate under thrust. But there's a bug in the controller software kernel that's trying to wake it up periodically, thus to shaking. But the safeties are functioning, you ask? Yes, Commander. It's annoying, but perfectly safe for now. Morale decreased by two. No. Alright, well, this one day. Those upgrades you asked for? Are online, Commander. Structure next. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. Let's uh, get everything fixed up here. You're heading to Panzer. The Aregan Directorate. I think we're going to fight the Directorate directly now. Hmm. Hold on. Let's look at the hiring hall. Ozone, pilot, ace pilot, bulwark, evasive movement. Hard points. Oh, here we go. Dita. What's this difference? Ronin, this mech warrior is, is a unique character. You may only hire this mech warrior once. If you fire them or they are killed, they will not reappear in the hiring halls. Um, interesting. This Kickstarter backer, barbarian. I kind of like Ozone, but yeah. <sighs> I don't like the name. I'm gonna wait. The other thing we want to do is a store. AC 10 plus. 2 accuracy AC 20. We have a plus plus. SRM 4 plus plus. We're going to wait for now. Um, I just want to save. Not that we're loading because this is self imposed Iron Man mode. So if we die, we die. Perdition. In orbit, Panzer. Welcome to Panzer, Commander Coast. Lady Irano and the Restoration Army are already fighting on the planet's surface and have been for weeks. 
With the aid of House Decimus's ground support facilities, Miss Meyer will carry your lands through Panzer's orbital debris field and drop you on the surface. Tell us more about this debris field. It's a holdover from the Maris Civil War. Um, this Civil War happened back in the day. They still have stuff there. There was a great battle in orbit over Panzer, and most of the wreckage is still there in the form of a dense field of particulate material. Navigating the field unassisted would be a formidable task. Thankfully, we'll have Spaceport's control center on our side. It'll be able to guide us in and send us send tugs to assist us if necessary. All right, Sumire, how do you feel about this? Oh yeah, Commander, no sweat. The kind of navigation support I'll, I'll be getting from ground control, I could take us through the field with my eyes closed. Let's keep going. Lady Orana wants your lance behind enemy lines. Great. Well, she leads from the front. You will harass director at supply train and target valuable military hardware. She already has a target list drawn up for you. Hold that thought, Lord Madeira Commander. I'm getting a tight beam communication from the Panda Service. It's Lady Arano and it looks urgent. I'm putting it on screen now. Shadow Coast, you couldn't have arrived at a better time. Our forces on the surface desperately need your help. With the support of House Decimus, so this is one of the houses um, of the Regan Coalition, we're making our final push against the Directorate's last major stronghold. Our far forces are fully committed to the attack and we're pushing them back. But Directorate just sees control of Panzer's only remaining spaceport. With it, they'll be able to call down reinforcements at will. I need someone to take the spaceport's control tower away from them. Shadow Coast, that someone is going to have to be you. This means that Miss Meyer will need to carry us you through the debris field unassisted. I hope that her skills are up to the task. Well, this stage just got more interesting. You got this, Sue Meyer. I'm afraid there's more, Alexander. I just received a message from Lady Centrella. There's been a major incident on Perdition. So this is, what is Perdition? It's a Tarian system planet that borders the Federated Suns. It's primarily agricultural. It looks like a terrorist action, a chemical attack against the port city of Harlow's Landing. Initial casualty reports suggest some 11,000 dead. Yeah, the, they banned chemical weapons in, in the lore, hypothetically. Protector Kaladarin, so this is an individual. Um, Protector Latarian Concordant would be inclined to agree. He's claiming that the attack was an act of Davian aggression in direct violation of the Ares Conventions. So this is another one of the major houses. Um, and the Ares Convention banned all I think nuclear and chemical weapons. Treaty signed at the age of the war with the aim of limiting civilian ca casualties by establishing a universal code of military conduct. The Ares Convention specifically prohibits use of nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons to limit the um, as well as limit the scope of audible bombardment in conventional military operations. He's already calling it the Perdition Massacre. For their part, Davians have denied all knowledge of the attack. Their nine hours will fall on deaf ears. Calderon won't believe anything that ha Hans Davian has to say. That's probably the leader of House Davian. Yep. This is going to accelerate our timetable. We need to retake your throne before the situation gets even any worse. If a war was to erupt between the Federated Federation and the Concordant, it could easily spill into the Reach. We can't afford that kind of chaos. Um, we better get moving. Quite right. I'll brief you more fully when you reach the planet's surface. This will be a rough drop shot of Coast. Bring your best and may the gods grant you victory. We will all be counting on your success. Alright guys. You heard the lady Jack. Best get to it. Excuse me, Meyer, I'm going to go ahead and trust that you've got this. Do me a solid and try not to scrape the leopard's paint on your way down. Hmm. Yeah, Axel, I'll do my best. Hmm. Alright, Medusa, we're going to put Decker back. Um... Oof. 
so I'm debating on bringing the Jaeger mech, but it's just so light. You know what? I like the Shadow Hawk. Her mobile glitch has um, sensor lock, so we need to get her up there, moving around, helping us uh, get around back and shoot people. All right, take control of the direct rich turrets. Don't allow any directorate reinforcements to land. Destroy the spaceport dropship control center. The Restoration Army is already entrenched in Panzer's surface. We're gaining ground against the directorate, but we can't allow them to call in reinforcements. With the support of the Second Decimus Fusiliers, you will destroy a directorate-held dropship control center, cutting off their ability to navigate Panzer's orbital debris. The planet's debris field is a real oddity and a holdover from the Ameris Civil War. It's a nightmare to navigate without ground support, but don't worry, Sumeria will get you to the surface in one piece. Well, let's see. Command interface initiated. Hey, we're on the surface. Plus two morale. Commander, I'm glad you made it. Navigating Panzer to refield unassisted is no small feat, even for a ship as small as the Leopard. Miss Meyer is to be commended for her skill. No sweat, Lady Orano. Just don't ask me to do it again. You won't have to. Restoration strike teams have already joined forces with the second decimus. Fusiliers to engage the enemy on multiple fronts. We have them at a disadvantage, but if they manage to bring in reinforcements, we're in trouble. Shadow Coast, I need you to engage the enemy, locate their dropship control center, and destroy it. Without ground support, their ships won't be able to navigate the debris field. The directorate's ship on the surface will be cut off, and our combined forces will sweep them away. I'm sorry to interrupt, Lady Orano. Lieutenant Karen Andrus, second decimus fusiliers. We just intercepted transmission by the ADV Coronat. They're requesting navigation. It sounds like they're all on their own way down. If that ship lands, our bid for the system fails. Shadow Coast, I need you to take control of the center. Control, take the control center out before the Coronat touches down. The second can help with that. We have a leopard full of engineers heading your way, Commander. I need you to clear us a path to the spaceport security headquarters. Take out the vehicles and make us some breathing room and we'll turn their turrets defenses against them. That's the plan then. We'll use the turrets to cover our, your approach. As soon as we have the turrets under our control, the director will begin firing on them. Use that as a distraction or engage the enemy to protect them. It's your call either way. Good hunting, Commander. You bring Destroy down the garrison and units. We'll the rest. So we Good have luck. 15 turns. So that's kind of important to remember. We are gonna. Got it. We're gonna. I've got something. Oh, okay. I guess we have to kill these guys, Commander. I'm seeing Director at SRM carriers on radar. I recommend engaging them at long range. They'll take you apart if you let them get close. Yes, they will. We've seen them. I hear ya. We have seen them up close and personal, and I will tell you one thing: they are not to be trifled with. I was hoping for a big boom. Standing by. Full throttle. All right, we're getting max evasion chevrons. Good to go. Lifting off. Um, SRM carrier, SRM carrier. Yeah, we do not want these SRM carriers. It's firing on us. So they're the priority. Vehicle destroyed. Waiting for orders. 
So this just shows you how mobile Decker is. What a precision strike. Let's fire at the weekend place. Two SRM carriers down. Um vehicle trashed. Don't know what that thing is. This guy's coming around. Got SRMs and an LRM. Head hit, pilot injury. Minor damage. Ooh. Large laser. Let's get to it. Okay, what is this? Is this an this is a bulldog? Hmm. Alright, well we are heavily armored, luckily. Let's, um... Receiving you. On my way. The reason we moved there is... We're hitting them from the side. I, I know it might seem like overkill, but we want to, we're working towards, against this time clock, so it's kind of, from my perspective, Oh. What can I do for you? I'm probably should have just focused that one. Yeah, I'm regretting my decision. Oof, from the side. So they have some. Are those the turrets, maybe? They might have turrets over there. I have no idea. We can't see. Waiting for order! All right. Let's let's use some of this. Commencing Hit the alpha weak strike. side. Thank you. Oh, this dude is really tanky. Smoked up. So we need to be What's up, boss? Oh, hold on, let's... Honestly, I don't... Copy that. I don't know if it matters. We have the morale. Fifty, fifty. Is that his right side? Targeting for an alpha strike. Ah, damn it. Whoa. There, there's something. I think there are missile turrets down there. Is that the drop ship? What is going on? Alright, let's get this. We gotta. Oh shit. Alright, we gotta get Recording out of here. Heavy damage. Should have stayed over here.
good to go. On my way. I don't know what's shooting us here. Dropship control center. Over there. Target right, acquired. We should have more than enough missiles. Nicely done, Commander. Lieutenant Andres, your approach to security HQ is clear. Roger that, Lady Arano. We will have their turrets under friendly control in just a moment. Engage the forces guarding that control center, Shire Coast. Let's make take these turrets count. So, ooh, Directory Mech Warrior. Ignore the turrets and concentrate your fire on those battle mechs. We must protect the control center. If our reinforcements can't land, we're all dead. Now fight for the Directorate. Screw your Directorate. Damn, there are like a lot of... One, two, three, four. Dragon? I think that might be an assault mech. Jenner, I'm not too worried about. Ready for orders. Waiting on you, Commander. going to sensor lock this guy. So we're going to try to take out the mechs and then as we move towards the control center. Centurion is coming at us. So there are three. Standing by. Kind of confused as what's blocking us, received. but... Now, she has two, four. She can take five damage. She's at one. Hopefully, it doesn't get any worse than that. Again, same thought process. I guess maybe the legs. Next warriors, show them what you've got. Okay, we got the legs. The legs are kind of blocked by the um, terrain there, but somehow they got through. So we just... Oh, they have a trebuchet. So they have one, two, three, four. I think an assault, two heavies. So we want to be moving this direction the entire time. Just sprint over there. Get you moving, because we have to go through here. And get you over there to the control center. I'm wondering when our turrets will... Oh geez, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, Commander. Oh, that guy's there. Engaging jump jet. All right, we're taking weapons off the board while we move. We have ten rounds. When we get to round three, that's when we All start worrying. All weapons are go. This is a campaign mission. All right, it took the Jenner out. Target eliminated. <sighs> now we're gonna try to. Focus on the two guys on the right. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. He's just dragging. That guy's scary. Entrenched. Okay, we have a lot of turrets. This will be fun to watch. That really sucks for them. So we take this, we get all these drop ships too, right? Commander. Don't need to tell me twice. All right. So since glitch has breaching shot, we're actually we're gonna. Aim for the leg here. Special delivery. And the centurion is running back away. No, is he, yeah, he's running back away from us. <laughs> I 
Now we're gonna blow two things here. We're gonna blow um, vigilance. Oh, uh, I guess we can't also call it shot. I thought we could. Come on, I think that didn't pop a leg off. And now you're taking 50% of the damage. The trebuchet. So again, we're moving towards the base. Waiting for orders. Putting damage on. Alright. Oh, we should have sprinted. Retrospect. That would have been nicer, but okay. Whoa! Hunchback! Hello! Did not see that coming. Two, four, five. Good to go. Roger. Our grasshopper's pretty strong. Firing. He injured the pilot, but. That panther is hard. Nine rounds. Gotta move, gotta move. Nice. Nice. Yeah, just injure the well injure the dragon that would be great if you just incapacitate the pilot or you can take a dragon home all right since we're up front again we are going to oh no we can't I want to. I want to try to give him everything you've got. All right, we took Panther down. We knocked back his pilot incapacitated, so he's done. I'm very nervous about that hunchback coming around. Centurion, you just keep going back and forth, and getting hit by the. Yes, Commander. Copy that. Uh, basically, we are making our way as quickly at, over to the center as we can, but Good I'm wondering go. if having our heaviest mechs is a disadvantage. Got it. This is what I'm worried about this guy. Oh. Ow. So he has the AC20. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. So we need Commander. to take him down. He, I didn't realize. Oof. Stressful. I mean, not that stressful. Affirmative. Just, we need to take the. We can just like. Okay. Uh, dragon. We can turn around. Nope. Still. 
getting hit by the turrets. Yeah, keep keep hitting them. For fully armor, they can take it. Yeah, hit them in the back. Structure exposed, fantastic. Yes. is ticking and uh -huh. that dropship is getting close. I'd recommend that you prioritize targeting the control center. Yeah. Commander. I am um, like trying to do that. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. All right. I hear ya. Time to fly. So we're, we're gonna do some crazy guys. Um, no, not called shot. It's high risk, high reward. By high reward, I mean this might just be total risk. Then we're gonna bum rush that thing with Shadow Coast. Oh no! All right, we're shooting him in the back because he's. Really tanky in the back. Oh jeez, not the hunchback. This is terrifying. Order. What did he just do? So, where's his AC-20? Right torso, so... Left torso, right rear. Acknowledged. Oof, AC-20 down. That's a relief, that's... Oh no. Well, the turrets can shoot him in the back now. What was Internal that? Damage. What does he have? Ready for order. Even, I'll be honest, I haven't really looked. Affirmative. It doesn't have that much stuff. Alright. You're still the bigger threat. On it. Oh jeez, now the Centurion's coming around from behind. Alright. Ha! Send me a real opponent! Waiting for orders. Engaging jump jet. Weapons are good. She's just so awesome. I guess like that um guts heat thing is fantastic. 
Alright. Shadow Coast alone. What can I do for you? Alright, I normally would never do this, but No sweat. Damn. All right, pilot incapacitated. We just can't have someone shooting us in the back. Just trying to run over there without exposing too much. Oh, and I should have vigilance the mistake. I could pay for that later. Oh geez. Oof, ninety damage. Ow. Was I'm it? taking internal damage. Decker. Standing by. One sec. All right, back. Sorry about that. All right, the dragon. I'm not that impressed with it. Took that out of the the, the playing field. Mech destroyed. He's hunchback with the AC. That's 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 exciting. I'd like that. Nice turrets, sensor locking, nice. I don't, like, we have the trebuchet, we haven't really used it. It's basically like a crappy catapult. I, I think the catapult's a lot better. Man, if we didn't take these turrets, we'd be screwed. Nice, knock them over. Threat. Warning. Damage critical. Waiting for orders. Alright. Who has yet to go? The hunchback? He's already gone because his letters are black. Hunchback has not gone yet. Just let him have it. Giving him everything I've got. Yeah, we could focus on salvage. CT destroyed. Okay. Now I, I think after this mission we're gonna get into three skull missions, so we should encounter these guys. Waiting on you, Commander. I would hope a lot more often. Taking the high these road. Heavies and assaults. So I'm not too worried. Like I, I think that there will be. You have a morale boost, so let's target good. the leg. Oof, okay. And stay down. Affirmative.
Got it. Go, 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 go. I wonder what happens if... I wonder if, like, the campaign ends if we don't do it. Commander, we're almost out of time. We can't afford to let enemy reinforcements land. You need to bring down that control center. I'm working on it. To, well, if this ends the campaign, we might have to load not, like, just because then the campaign's done. But I think we should be able to... What can I do for you? Orders? Okay, let's see if Decker... We're only doing this to increase target. the chance because he's... Oh, damn. Well done, Commander. Miss Meyer, are you inbound? Roger that, Lady Orana. I'm making an LZ on your screen. Commander, proceed to the designated coordinates for you back. Oh, we might not even get... Um... Receiving you. Location confirmed. So we can see that's the directorate design. Taking a protective stance. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. On my way! Go, 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 go. Receiving you. All right, we're getting out of here. That was fun, guys. I'm glad we took the um, turrets down. Or oh, we converted them. That's done it. All communication between the spaceport and directorate reinforcements fleet just went down. Ground control. This is Coronuts. We lost you. Loud clinging. Nav support is offline. We're in the dam. Where are the damn tugs? Louder cling. Alarm clocks begin to blare. Without ground support, the drop ships won't be able to make the planet fall. They'll be torn to pieces if they try. Congratulations, Shadow Coast. Panzer is as good as ours. And we have you to thank for it. Long live House Decimus and long live Arano, the Rano Restoration. Mission. That was fun. I. In retrospect, I probably should have taken a little more time. To target legs so we could get better salvage. I'm interested in the hunchback for the AC20 build. Um, we did take damage, nothing, it doesn't look major. One injury on Behemoth. Um, only 1600 experience. So we have 17 salvage. We have a full Centurion, we have a Centurion, we definitely want the Dragon, definitely want the Hunchback. Um, let's see, are there plus weaponry? Any plus, any plus weaponry? No, surprising. I for sure thought we'd have some plus. That's all ammo. Alright, so... We'll get part of a Centurion. Um, let's see what else. Ah, I was hoping we'd get the other part of the Centurion. Oh well. So that... Well, we'll see what happens here. Hmm. 
Anomaly, Rimworld Frontier. Shadow Coast. Or, we've done it, Shadow Coast. Thanks for your thanks to your efforts. The Restoration Army has broken the Directorate's hold on Panzer. Lord Pierre Louis Decimus has already pledged his house and his systems to my service. The restoration is growing, just as we hoped it would. And with his support, you gain territory soldiers and a bolstered supply chain. Not a bad deal for you, Lady Arano. As for House Decimus, the Directorate took a scorched earth approach to Panzer's farmland. Without our ongoing support, the people here would starve. I am not my uncle, Darius. The restoration gives us gives as much as it takes. That's commendable, Lady Arano, but it may not be sustainable. That's true. I'm fully aware that war has a price, Shadow Coast, and I expect that price to escalate. But for now, I can afford to help these people, and so I will, and to hell with the cost. Good, I like that. Very altruistic and, and um, a good long-term strategy. It's a victory to be sure, but we're still a long way from Cormadir, and the direct director Espinoza has only just begun to marshal his forces. Things are going to get a lot more difficult as we push forward towards Smithen. The Directorate's military capabilities appear to be way out of line with our initial estimates. Somehow they've gained access to weapons and battle mechs that are totally foreign to the Oregon Reach. What does that mean? You think there's some clan mechs here? That'd be awesome. Where do you think all this hardware is coming from? We don't know. House Espinosa has always had contacts in the Inner Sphere. Oh, so maybe they're more like higher tech inner sphere stuff. Lady Victoria's personal battle mech is a prototype model that's almost impossible to find outside the Dacronus Combine. D Dacronus Combine is one of the five successor state states of the Star League. Um, House Carita and the Combine is always aggressively expansionist, so they're kind of. We'll look at the map after this. But w w this. A radical new military buildup is something else entirely. Wherever these weapons are coming from, it's a recent development and a troubling one. The timeline wouldn't, I think, align with clans, but we'll see. Hey, Lord Madeira, I, uh, sorry to interrupt, but there's something here that you may want to see. Actually, you may all want to see this. I found something strange on the Argos nav computer. Why don't I like the sound of that? I'm going to need some clarification on that, Doctor. <laughs> Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Because your head is in the right place. I found something weird on the ancient ship. Is what spacers say in horror movies. Usually right before everyone starts dying. That is that is exactly accurate, Seemeyer. Back me up on the Starius. What was the one you made me watch the other day with the drones that started eating people? Oof, that sounds bad. Count Hara Tumo de Sorrentelli's these gears are teeth. It's a great film, but that's all it is. It's make-believe, Meyer. Dr. Murad, please, t please tell us what you actually found. Well, I appear to have stumbled onto an encrypted data archive. Somebody hid it away in the Argo's secondary storage drive. That's just my best guess, mind you. Star League area encryption software isn't really my area of expertise. Star League. That's Star League, so it's encrypted. My father spent years trying to figure years trying to figure out how to get the Argo back to Oregon space in one piece. He was obsessed with this ship. He felt that it was important somehow. And now this. I want that archive open, Dr. Murad. I need to know what's inside. With all due respect, Lady Arana, what's ever on that drive was sealed away for a reason. I've heard enough stories about Lost Tech. So this is Lost Tech is referring to advanced technology that the Star League developed that can no longer be replicated with modern industrial bases. So it's very rare. Um, some, there are some factories, other things. Most of it has been destroyed. Oh, treasure hunting didn't know that it's a bad idea. So why don't we just leave well enough alone? Because this archive could contain something of value. And because, I, as I previously mentioned, I have a personal connection with this ship. I believe that this discovery is meant to lead us somewhere. And I intend to follow it. It's a Star League era data archive. Of course, we should open it. We shouldn't let this distract us. Lady Ron knows our client, Meyer. Yeah, let's let's go with this. I want to know what's in it. Damn right we should. Thanks, Yang. You're my man. You don't just leave money on the table. Anyone could tell you that. <laughs> All right. A little different reasoning, but yeah. Thankfully, we can follow this lead and pursue our campaign against Director at the same time. Ever the pragmatist. The liberation of House... Carassus and Smith Smithon is already the Restoration's next objective, and Lord Simon 
Kurosis was High Lord Tomati's chief technologist. That aligns nicely, so he will help us unlock it. Securing the help we need will cost us nothing that we weren't already planning to pay. Perhaps this is all just coincidence, Miss Meyer, but I cannot help seeing the hand of fate at work here. Massive taught me to pay heed to my intuition, and that is what I intend to do. So tell me about Lord Kurosis. He's a hard man who doesn't suffer fools gladly. That said, he's also quite brilliant, a noble with the mind of a scholar. His adult childhood, his adult children, Otto and Lena, were much the same. Difficult at times, to be sure, but fierce allies of House Serrano. Why do you think the story of Kurosis will be open? Will be able to open our ar the archive? Because he knows Lost Tech better than anyone in the Reach. In the days of my fa father's reign. Whenever scraps of forgotten technology were discovered in the Reach, they'd be taken to Smithen for cataloging and study. If there are answers to be found, we'll find them with him. That's the plan, then. After we liberate Smithen, we'll have an audience with Lord Kurosis. Yes, Shadow Coast, and shortly thereafter, we will see if my father's intuition about the Argo is justified. As before, I will contact you when we're ready to move on Smithen. For now, I'll take my leave of you. I have nobles to play, kid, and an army to rally, and you have your own contracts to pursue, pursue I'm sure. Yes, we do, Lady Arano. We've been keeping busy just as you asked us to. You all heard her. We got some time before the next leg of the Restoration's offensive, and our client wants us to make the most of it. Time is money, so let's get back to work. Wait, Lady Arano's people scoured the spaceport and found a jackpot commander. Decommissioned Griffins, lots of them. They'll never get them working with the repair facility they got. But between my team and the Argos Mech Bay, I think we might. You can find them in the shop here on Panzer. Okay. Nice. That mech you wanted is back online. Alright, we got a Panther 9R. Thank you. We will send you to storage. Store. Oh, they like have a full griffin. Large laser plus accuracy plus crit. SRM 6 plus. So we're gonna swap that out on our centurion. Hmm. We're gonna buy it, New weapon and that's. Available. We're also gonna sell. I think we have two panthers. Yeah. No, we don't want to sell that plus plus. All right, so we're doing some housekeeping. We're gonna end this the stream or this um, particular stream here. And continue shortly, Nibbler. She might be joining us, but join in next time. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, Operation Panzer.